Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever Series 3, The Great Western Railway. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And today I am going to be continuing building the bridges or the roads around London. Now we, we sort of worked a little bit on this side, this is sort of the um, Westminster side, Waterloo, London Bridge area, it's Tower Bridge there. Tower Bridge, London Bridge, um, Blackfriars Bridge, Waterloo, oh, what's the name of this bridge? What's this bridge over here? I've forgotten the name of it. Also, why is the music doing some weird things? Uh, Westminster Bridge, and uh, that's going to be Lambeth Bridge, Vauxhall Bridge, and Chelsea Suspension Bridge, which isn't actually a suspension bridge because I couldn't find a mod for suspension bridges. Oops. So in this video, I am going to be, I did say I was going to try and work on this side. So I'm going to see what I'm going to do, but I thought it might be a good idea if given how big this project is if I went into time lapse from this one so off the intro we're going to go straight into a time lapse and I'm going to try and get one hour of footage condensed into about 18 to 20 minutes so make sure you stay tuned for uh, a time lapse of this being built up and then of course I'll come back at the end oh so safe uh, I'll come back at the end and we'll see what we've done and I'll sort of go over the areas that I have built.
Okay, so about 40 minutes or so later, um, I haven't really got very far. This is going to be very, very difficult. Let me just talk about a few of the things that I've done. So you'll notice now London looks a lot messier. Uh, unfortunately that's that's just how it's going to be so you can still see the bridges as you can see tower bridge is now connected so i'm going to explain uh let's explain from this side because this is probably easier in all honesty i was kind of hoping i would have managed to get all of this done but it's just um it's difficult getting that done getting this area done, it's just all really really difficult at the moment um it's a shame we can't sort of do micro size if everything could be if there was a way to micro size everything that would be incredible. All the buildings microsized, all the roads microsized, all the cars microsized. And that that would just be amazing. But unfortunately, we cannot do that. So let me explain before I end this episode what we've got. So we've got Tower Bridge over here. And this is where we're going to stick the, the Tower of London and uh, everything else there. So that's, by the way, that's a royal palace. It's not a prison. Now, a lot of people think that's a prison. So this here is Tower Hill. This is a Tower Bridge Approach, so we are going to somehow figure out what to do. Tower Bridge Approach becomes Tower Hill, and then we've got to do something else there. Now, I think this area is uh, Upper Smithfield uh, over here, so we're going to work that out. But as we go over Tower Bridge, I've decided that I was going to connect it, so we could put a few buildings here. There are pathways that go along there, of walks along those pathways. But instead, uh, we've got Tooley Street, so I've just sort of thrown Tooley Street in, which connects Tower Bridge to London Bridge over here. So we've got London Bridge uh, up at this point. And then what we've done is I've brought this, I've sort of tried to get this right. So this was uh, King William Street going up onto London Bridge. Uh, there's supposed to be a, a station here somewhere, an old underground station, I think. I cannot remember. Uh, but we've got King William Street there. And then the one that goes across this narrow one that I've been playing around with some narrow streets. Uh, this is Cannon Street. So I'm sort of stuck in Cannon Street there. And then this one that's going across here is Queen Victoria Street. So that that's the idea there. So we've got Queen Victoria Street. Uh, we've got Cannon Street across there. And then we've got uh, King William Street going up here. Now this connects right up over here to what really isn't a road that exists so the road is there there's a there's a road here called uh, Cheapside uh, along this road here and then that turns into Newgate and that goes over the uh, Holborn Viaduct and there's supposed to be a train station here the Holborn Viaduct train station which unfortunately is not going to be in here um, and that's just a shame but right there there should be a train station that then sort of goes across uh, all of this area here. So this area at the end is not Cannon Street. This is a uh, Ludgate Hill. There's supposed to be um, there's a cathedral here, uh, as you can imagine. That's uh, St Paul's Cathedral, if I remember correctly. But unfortunately, we can't stick it in. So it's supposed to be just sort of up here. Uh, that that's something that I do want to put in. If I can fit uh, that in there, I shall. So that's what we've got here. Over here, originally you may have seen the time lapse, I connected this road up, then I realised, no, nope, this is the Holborn Viaduct. This down here is Farringdon Street, uh, and then this is um, Blackfriars Bridge. This is St Paul's Station right here, which again is not going to be present. And then we've got Blackfriars Bridge across there. Going across or up to this area where we've got Holborn, there is supposed to be a street that connects up. I'm not sure exactly how this goes, so I've just stuck it in like that for now. I think maybe it might go more that way. And I don't actually know the name of the street. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know the name of that street. But this is all Holborn. I know that. This is Holborn, High Holborn, uh, all the way along that. And then this becomes Oxford Street. So now we've got Oxford Street here. This is a uh, Charing Cross Road. Uh, this is actually going to have to be taken down to pedestrian pedestrians only at some point. But this is a uh, Charing Cross Road here. So this is now all a pedestrianised zone from this area. Going up this way, we're going to have Tottenham Court Road, which I am definitely going to put in. Uh, then we've got, let's have a look, this one here is Regent Street going down. Uh, you can see I haven't done this on this side because this is supposed to connect to the Horse Guards Parade. 
and we're going to have the Mall and Buckingham Palace and all that kind of stuff over here. So we've got Regent Street over here. Oxford Street along here, New Oxford Street there, Tottenham Court Road is going to go up that way, Charing Cross Road along here. Uh, then further up, this is another one that hasn't exactly turned out as I wanted. This corner here is Marble Arch, and then this is a representation of either the Ring and Park Lane sort of mixed together. So I'm just going to call this Park Lane. And similarly over here, Instead of putting in the roads that are inside Hyde Park, I've just put in a road that is going to be sort of like what's outside, and that's Knightsbridge Road. So we've got Knightsbridge Road there, and um, or at least I think that bit's Knightsbridge Road. This is Kensington High Street or Kensington High Road on that side. On the opposite side, uh, past Marble Arch, I cannot remember the name of this road. Uh, what's the name of this road? I cannot remember the name of this road. It's going to come to me and I'm going to be quite annoy, uh, annoyed at it. And then on this side, we do have uh, Kensington Palace Gardens on this side. So we've got some housing and stuff like that. And Kensington Palace is, is just here. So that's on that side. Moving on from that, we've got Kensington Road here or Kensington High Road. I think that's just Kent, um Is that High Road Kensington? or I don't know. They may have changed the name. I know they changed the names of these roads, but I'm pretty sure this is Kensington Road or Kensington High Road or High Road Kensington. Going all the way up here, that then changes into Hammersmith Road as we go into Hammersmith. And then this is Hammersmith Bridge right over here. Uh, so this may be called Hammersmith, Hammersmith Bridge Road. I'm not, I'm not too sure. So we've got ourselves all the way across there. Down here, this is uh, Chelsea Bridge Road. No, that's not right. It's not called Chelsea Bridge Road. What's the name of the road? I know that's Chelsea Bridge. That's Chelsea Suspension Bridge. But what's the name of this road? I think it may be Chelsea Bridge Road. But not all the way. And then up here, uh, this area here is Sloan Street. And then I think from about here, it's Chelsea Bridge Road all the way up to Chelsea Bridge. This is the Chelsea Embankment over here and this is going to be a representation of both Battersea Bridge and Albert Bridge two that are right next to each other so unfortunately this is the Albert Bridge I'm not going to actually put Battersea Bridge in because it's supposed to be pretty much right there moving along on to this side uh, on the other side of the Chelsea Embankment we've got uh, I've forgotten the name of this road oh world and me Okay, I've forgotten the name of this road completely. Uh, and then we're going up. We've got uh, Vauxhall Bridge. This is all, this is Vauxhall Bridge Road and Vauxhall Bridge. We've got a train station that's supposed to go here. There's a train station here, Vauxhall Station. I don't know if a train station will fit in there. No, that's the problem, you see. Train stations just will not fit. This is going to be very, very interesting to try and work this one out. Uh, that being said... That being said, with Vauxhall Bridge, no, sorry, Vauxhall Station is supposed to go here. And as I said, with that being said, it does go over the road. So maybe it'll fit. And it's also, I know that the station is, uh, ooh, uh, I know that the station is supposed to be curved. That's the curvature. Uh, if I just throw in a standard train station, I think the station's actually curved like that too. So there is there is potential to stick Vauxhall Station in uh, about there if we really, really wanted to. But anyway, moving on from that, we've got this road along here, which is the uh, Albert Embankment. And then that connects up to Lambeth Bridge, which is that one there. And then we've got Westminster Bridge, which is that one there. So over here we've got Parliament Square, which I've put in. Uh, we've got Parliament Street along here, turning into Whitehall. We've got the Victoria Embankment, as we did last time. So this turns into Whitehall. That's Northumberland Avenue right there, if anyone's played, um, uh, what do you call it, Monopoly, the classic Monopoly. There is another road that's supposed to go in here, but I can't... I can't figure out how I'm going to... That one there, that's Whitehall Place. I 
don't know if that's a good idea to put that in. Uh, but there is another road, as I said, that goes in there. So you've got Northumberland Avenue along here. Um, then I haven't put in the roads here because, as I said, I'm still trying to work out how I'm going to connect Regent Street and St. James Street and all of them uh, over here. There is, I guess, I could put a road just here. That would be uh, Paul Mall. I suppose I could put that in. That would connect to Regent Street across there and then maybe get St. James Street to go up towards Piccadilly. But then the issue comes along is that how are we going to connect Piccadilly here? So that's the other issue, getting Piccadilly connected up to uh, Regent Street. And of course, this area here, well, you may have figured this out already now that I'm saying Piccadilly, that's Piccadilly Circus. So we've got to get Piccadilly Circus, which means Shaftesbury Avenue is going to go around here, which I can't get. Uh, we've got Coventry Street that's supposed to go around here, and then we're going to go into uh, some of the other areas. And I said, as I said, Regent Street has sort of uh, fades away into the uh, Horse Guards Parade and barracks and everything. Uh, over on this side, this is Strand. This entire area here is Strand, going all the way up uh, across Waterloo Bridge, all the way up to about here then it turns into fleet street and fleet street connects up to the blackfriars bridge which is this one here so that's what we've got there i've explained everything around there and around there the last bits i suppose i've got to explain is this road down here that we've now extended this is kennington park road uh, so with kennington park road all going all the way down at least i think this is kennington park road uh, i certainly hope it is because i'll put it in sort of thinking it's Kennington Park Road. It better be. Because that's Kennington Road there, and then that's Kennington Park Road. That one sort of turns into about there, it's going to turn to High Street for um, uh, Tooting. I think it's going to go into Tooting, and that's going to become a High Street for, for part of Tooting as we go through uh, into Clapham. Actually, it might be going through Clapham first, and then going down towards Tooting. So we're going to go into Clapham. There's another train station that's supposed to be there. Obviously, we've got Clapham Junction somehow. Um, not sure how we're going to get Clapham Junction in, but that's going to be that's going to be quite an interesting one. Another train station could go in here. That's Battersea Park. Uh, but yeah, so we've got Kennington Town Road. It doesn't actually join up to Chelsea Bridge Road at any point. Chelsea Bridge Road sort of goes this way. Kennington Park Road will turn to High Street, go this way, and then sort of feed out in towards Croydon. Hammersmith over here, this is where the buildings are, start, are going to start fading out. So once we've got ourselves over to Hammersmith, there isn't much in the way of buildings. And then we're, we're going to stick in um, what's going to go in here. We're going to have Axon Town here, I think. Yeah, we're going to have Axon Town and we're going to have Ealing over here. Ealing may not be in the perfect place, to be completely honest. I think, I'm just trying to work out how I've how I've stuck this. It's it's difficult to really figure out where Ealing's I think Ealing is not quite in the right place. I think Ealing should be there. That's where I think Ealing should be. But that's not too bad. That's not too far off. I think this area may just be farmland uh as we go out of it. And this is uh Henton I think. Or something like that. And then, of course, we've got Richmond and everything like that. Richmond Park. And then Heathrow Airport, which at this point in time doesn't exist. So, with all that being said, this is a very, very long job. So, please do remember to hit the like button if you like these videos. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transport Fever Series 3, the Great Western Railway. I mean, we've just got started. This could take forever. Uh, I really, really want to try and get these connected, especially going towards Ealing and Wembley and Edgware, and just, just get this whole, all the roads in, because it's really, really going to take a lot of time. Because it's going to take a lot of time, do consider supporting me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your supports would be massively, massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. Also, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ecgadget, and social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. That's all from me, and I'll see you guys next time in Transports Fever Series 3, The Great Western Railway, where, I'll tell you what, let's take a, should we take a picture from, I suppose from here is probably a good place to take a picture, um, where we are going to try 
really try to get more of this done.